let's talk about productivity. I think lots of people are feeling they are not being productive enough and are in this productivity trap. Hello, I'm Mervi. I'm an artist and illustrator from Finland and I'm trying to be less productive. Lately I've noticed lots of artists uh, talking about how they are art blocked or overwhelmed or even burnt out. And I think it's because it's kind of that time of the year. We are half through the year. It's often there's this thinking that that you must accomplish certain things within a year. From the 1st of January to the last day of December, you must accomplish certain things to be to feel accomplished within that year. And, and because it's all already halfway through the year, maybe it's a bit, you know, feeling like you haven't accomplished enough at this point of the year. And um, I, I'm feeling this too. I, a uh, couple of weeks ago, took a trip to visit my parents. They live uh, away away. And the, there were other people there, two other family members there. My dad is severely ill and well, it was exhausting. It was a bit of a circus, the whole, whole thing with all those family members uh, at the same time there. And I didn't draw anything during that time. I didn't exactly plan to draw anything, but I was thinking maybe I could you know, draw at least something in my sketchbook during the time and for the few day days I didn't draw a single thing. And I felt a bit bad about that, you know, not drawing every day, because I, before that I had been drawing a lot. I had been drawing daily basis, I had been posting lots of shorts here on YouTube uh, about the drawing process processes and almost daily basis posting videos and uh, and so not drawing during those days and not posting anything on YouTube during those days it felt a bit mm, bad a bit like I wasn't productive enough maybe that's that's what I want to talk about today the whole feeling of not being productive, the whole feeling of that you, that I must be productive, you must be productive, and well, the pressure of being productive in general. There's, there's this um, in certain culture these days, uh, it's known as hustle culture, uh, where people are expected to hustle all the time, to be productive all the time, uh, Everything you do must produce something, must create some sort of value. And it must be value you can kind of count in some way. Maybe it's creating you money, maybe it's creating you success, maybe it's creating you views on YouTube. You know, something you can say, okay, now now I have these numbers here and, and the and this is the value I'm producing and um, and there's lots of there are, there are lots of tips on how to be more focused and more produ productive how to produce more and um, I think that's a bit of a bad thing I stumbled upon on this idea of toxic productivity so it's kind of uh, when you are you know, producing for the sake of producing. You're being efficient at any cost. You you need to have tasks all the time. You 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 cannot be just you know resting. You cannot be just doing nothing. <laughs> if you if you may, uh, you have to be always doing something. You have to be always. If you're an artist, you have to be always drawing. You have to be always um, learning drawing. You have to be always um, maybe doing something else that's artistic, has some sort of artistic value. And, um, 
and that's causing you as an artist to become to feel burned out, become to feel overwhelmed and and it's not good. So toxic productivity is uh, very counter-effective. It's, it's causing you in the end of the day to be not productive at all. Even, even causing you to get ill, either having mental issues or having physical issues or most likely both. And I've been there. I have been severely burnt out. It, it was a long time ago. I was studying then, and I was getting these. I was getting all kinds of physical issues. I was getting um, headaches. I was migraines. I was getting um, heartburns. I was having all kinds of sleeping problems, even worse than usual. Uh, I was having anxiety attacks uh, and it was it was horrible and I went to a doctor and I was like what's going on with me and the doctor kindly said it sounds like you are burnt out and that burnout actually caused me to uh, be much less productive than I could have been I wasn't studying I couldn't get any studies done and Eventually, I actually uh, switched studies and it, things got a bit better, but yeah, I was, I was extremely burnt out, so I know what it feels like to be burnt out and I know how it makes you just completely unproductive and it's often because of this need to be productive. You end up being burnt out, you end up being unproductive because you are trying so hard to be productive. I think artists very often have an extra pressure to prove themselves, to prove that they are bringing value to the world, they are being productive, because arts are often seen as some sort of a secondary thing, as something you do as a hobby, as something, you know, not so important not creating so much value, um, you're not a doctor, you're not healing people, you're not a f firefighter uh, stopping houses, homes from burning down, um, you have to really prove yourself. And because you have to prove yourself all the time, to yourself too, um, to prove your value all the time to yourself as well as others, it's, it's very easy to find yourself in this kind of uh, a, a productivity trap that you try to create yourself tasks, you give yourself goals. And when you struggle to uh, create that value, when you struggle to prove yourself to yourself or to the world, uh, when you uh, fail to get the tens of thousands of uh, followers on Instagram and get a thousand subscribers and um, was it uh, four thousand hours uh, of views on YouTube to get your account monetized uh, when you fail to you know create art that is like changing the world then then you easily put yourself into this this situation where you feel art blocked where you feel burnt out because you are not feeling so productive, you're not feeling like you are a valuable, productive member of the society. And, and that happens a lot to artists. I understand I, and I feel the urgency to, to build uh, the career as an artist, to, to uh, become successful enough to get people to buy, buy, the, buy your art, uh, to to become uh, successful enough to to get your your channel on YouTube monetized or whatever where you are trying to get paid to make art you have b bills to pay so you want to to pay them with your art and and it's slow it's really slow to build that career it's really slow to 
to build that success it's really slow to get your youtube channel monetized so with that it's very easy to end up into this uh, this this productivity trap to think that you know i must be productive for the sake of productivity i must put my worth as an artist by bringing value and being, being efficient and being focused and well a productive artist that's that's causing all those problems that's causing the art blocks and and burnouts and all that stuff and it's not even it, it's not working it's, it's probably not uh, making you more successful if you are stretching yourself too too thin uh, by being uh, overly productive. People who give advice on how to be more productive, to be more uh, focused uh, as an artist or otherwise, they seem to often forget that uh, everyone has other things in their life um, than your art, your career, your work, your business. There are other things you need and you want to do and there, there are also these things you don't realize are, are taking energy and are causing stress. Like for instance often we talk about paying the bills and when you talk about paying the bills it's about getting the money to pay the bills but the actual um, action of paying the bills is also quite stressful if you think about it one way to get uh, over this productivity trap this toxic productivity is to set uh, realistic goals also remember to prioritize things not everything is important and remember uh, the most important thing the most important things are uh, uh, is your, your your health is important the health of people around you is important and just like living a life is is important much more important than than your art career if you are scheduling kind of a person remember the schedule breaks in your in your uh, in your schedule because uh, the breaks uh, are when your brain really processes for instance if you're learning something it processes what you're learning and commits it to uh to the long-term memory breaks are just breaks are actually pretty productive <laughs> i hate saying this because i'm trying to tell you not to be so productive but breaks are actually pre pretty productive sleeping is very productive another thing is you need to try do nothing and I know this sounds weird because we are always doing something but try to do stuff that feels very unproductive so um, listen to music uh, daydream um, watch watch series watch movies uh, those things are not generally considered productive unless you are you know actively learning something from uh, from the series or learning something from the movie or unless you are just you know doing those for fun for relaxing um, for for doing nothing then they are not considered productive and try to do those those things because they are good for you they are good for your health and they are good for your productivity but also remember one thing when you are trying to be more productive when you're feeling that art block uh, when you are feeling burnt out try to think why how did you end up in this situation why why are you feeling you are not productive enough why are you feeling you're not bringing value to the world why are you feeling these feelings some people do these to-do lists. I hate to-do lists, by the way. But uh, if you are a to-do list kind of person, if you are a list kind of person, write down lists of things you have done, and include if if you feel like you are not doing anything, include things you know not not doing things like sleeping, like uh, watching uh, a series, and also just basically just be more gentle with yourself as an artist i know you are probably 
very likely pretty hard on yourself. You have learned to uh, criticize your own work, work, you have learned to criticize other people's work, you have learned to feel that you need to be more productive, to be more, well, be more in general. It's a bit of a bad habit you have learned there. Uh, um, criticizing yourself and uh, kind of feeling uh, like a failure and kind of uh, pushing yourself to to do more try to be more gentle to yourself and if if that voice in in the back of your head is telling you um, you know you're failing you're not doing enough uh, you need to do more you need to accomplish more you're not successful enough you are not this and that very often people who are burnt out are thinking they are lazy burnout is lying to you tell that that's the voice to go away be gentle to yourself i feel i've been way too productive making this video i hope you got something out of this i hope you are trying not to be that productive maybe trying to be a bit unproductive in times i'm hoping you will come again to watch other videos i make uh, i have lots of art videos they are not necessarily very productive they don't necessarily all some of them teach you stuff but not all of them but they are great ways to to just be unproductive if you like to see something like this in the future or my art other art videos um, please subscribe do like uh, throw in the comments if you have any tips on how to be less productive, <laughs> tips on how to uh, get out of the, the, the cycle of productivity, out of that, that feeling that you, you have to be so damned productive all the time. And um, I'll see you around. Bye. <laughs>